what is good we got one more for you we got the tight ends hopefully you've checked out the running backs and the wide receivers but we are doing some dynasty stashes right here um and again if you haven't listened to the other ones these aren't going to be league winners and crazy stashes of you know stash these high-end players these are going to be guys who are potentially available on your waiver wire if not uh, for super cheap and in some trade negotiations and you can maybe weasel these guys in there uh guys are missing we don't have the tripod it's just me your boy cm um they'll be back soon um get well uh, but the show's gonna go on and i'm gonna give you these tight ends got the uh yellow legal working here uh so we're going to go through these tight ends. We'll keep it short and sweet with these ones. Talked a little while longer on the uh, on the running backs and the tight end, or the running back and the wide receivers, rather. Um, but these, um, we'll keep it short because I know none of y'all really give too much of a shit about the tight ends. But I like the tight end. I'll, I'll, I, you know what ends up being a, a lot of stashes in the bottom of my uh, teams? Tight ends. Uh, especially if I'm playing tight end premium, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stash a, a decent amount and keep churning through some tight ends. So I wanted to bring you a couple here and just like the other ones, we'll start uh, with, with some of the, maybe the little bit of higher end ones that might be out there in an FFPC style league, which would be 20 man roster, um, sh- you know, shorter benches. So a little bit higher end free agents out there. Um, but you know, we'll kind of work it into some some deeper shots here, but we're going to keep this one, like I said, a little shorter, a little sweeter. So starting this one off, we'll go Jelani Woods. Um, he's got an ADP of 174. Now, maybe he had a big target game a few weeks ago. Maybe he's been picked up and dropped and he's somebody needed some space or whatever. If not, I love him just targeting Jelani you know, was a quarterback in college, six, seven, really athletic. You see it out there. I'm not really sure why they're not going to him more, but we don't really know what the hell the Colts are doing in general. It's a dumpster fire over there. Jelani Woods, a big target in free agency. If he's out there and a big target kickers and trades where, you know, the kicker in a trade would be somebody who's not going to necessarily break a deal or add too much value. I'm just going to try to throw him in and grab him. Um, and he's not going to cost me too much more in the trade. If you kind of hard to maybe solo trade for the value is going to be a little more heavy, but if you can get a trade going and, and get woods thrown in there, I'd be, uh, and any team that has woods on it and I'm, and I'm got another trade rolling. I'm going to look to, uh, throw woods in the mix there. The next two guys, I'm going to go two guys in a row here because it's the Dallas Cowboys tight ends. Dalton Schultz is, is a free agent, uh, in this coming draft, they haven't paid him. He got a little upset in the off season that they weren't paying him. Um, and then he was a little nicked up and these guys have got a little run because of it. None of them have done anything awesome with it, but uh, Peyton Hendershot, who doesn't have a ADP of anything on the uh, DLFs there. And then Jake Ferguson, who was a fourth rounder, he's got a, uh, 212 ADP for DLF. Um, both of those guys probably available in a lot of leagues. Make sure you scoop them up. Could the Cowboys draft the tight end for sure? Could they bring Dalton Schultz back for sure? Um, but you know, Schultz is, has, has been a focal point of this offense and Dak likes him. He moves the chains. Um, they go to him in situ in big situations. The volume was great two years ago and now he's been a little banged up, but you know, he's been a pretty good starter when healthy out there for the Cowboys. So Hendershot and, uh, Jake Ferguson, probably out there in a good portion of your leagues. Make sure you go into the off season with those guys on the bottom of your bench. Um, couple more uh kind of stacks here of of uh teams tight ends you know the jets tight ends nothing sexy there um and you know obviously not that much fun but just grab one of uzama conklin or ruckert who was a third pick third round pick out of ohio state and just stash him on the bench and see what happens maybe one of them gets banged up maybe they trade one maybe they release one who really knows um but if there is a tight end that could come out of here and be the guy i think there is certainly some value there and i'm sure basically all of those guys are pretty much free um you know, we can add the other Colts tight end here. We already talked about Wood Granson. You should be rostering him in a deeper league. He's virtually free. I don't believe he has an ADP in um, in any of the DLF uh, that I could find. And, you know, he's even had some some pretty decent games for the Colts. But again, the, the Colts are kind of a, a dumpster fire. So Granson and Woods 
for the Colts. We talked about Woods to lead this off. Um, so, you know, we're kind of going, you know, a little bit of a, a team who's got question marks at the at the tight end position here. So Houston, also another tight end place where, you know, there's not so much going on right now. There's Brevin Jordan, uh, who's a fifth round pick from two years ago. At one point, he was like the number one high school recruit, super athletic. He's been banged up through his first two seasons, kind of, you know, still pretty young. They had Jordan Akins. He's on a one year deal. He's out of there. We're thinking CJ Stroud's coming in. We're thinking we're probably going to get a new head coach. This whole thing is going to kind of get revamped. Um, and we could start looking, you know, maybe mid season next year where we get a, we get a Jags like turnaround with, with Doug Peterson. And, and, you know, you kind of wasted that first year with Trevor Lawrence, but if you get the right guy in the right system in there, you know, you could see how useful Evan Ingram, who is, was kind of disregarded and thrown away and, and could have been had for pretty cheap. Uh, they, they made him useful in an offense that you're like, eh, I don't know. It's the Jags. Uh, well, I don't know. It's the Texans, but we, all of a sudden we could see me, oh, it's the Texans. Um, but you know, the other guy who, Who's had a touchdown in, I believe, against the Eagles. And then again this week, um, another fifth round pick this year. Um, I believe his name is Tegan Quan Terranato. Um, poor pronunciation there, um, but you should be rostering both of these Texans guys, Brevin Jordan and Tegan, um, in, in any league that you have any space, especially tight end premium. Uh, both of those guys are favorites of mine. Shout out to Matt Foreman. He had uh I'm, I'm going to butcher the name again, Quinteriano on uh, on his list as well. Um, so, you know, be sure to throw him on the bottom of a team and Brevin Jordan on the bottom of a team. Um, and I think those guys uh, could could kind of help you out. Maybe moving into next year, tight ends are, you know, so fickle. So, you know, is what it is. Uh, and then, you know, just a couple more here at the end. Like I said, going to keep this one short and street sweet. Um, Donald Parham. Uh, he's been a guy who I've been on for a little while, got banged up at the end of last year with a bad injury and then came into this year and got hurt again, but then came right back out there this week coming off IR and flashing a little bit again. He's a big physical freak. Um, you know, he's a restricted free agent, so we're not really sure what's going to go on there, but he is on every single one of my rosters at the bottom of it. Um, and I, I, I really you know, might turn into a bunch of nothing. I, I got plenty of guys who turn into a bunch of nothing on the bottom of my roster and, you know, you turn them and move on, um, on FFPC. Maybe you don't want to take Parham into there, but anything with a, with a deeper bench, you grab Parham, move into next season, see what happens. Maybe he's a charger, maybe somewhere else. Um, and then Hunter Henry is another guy. I know who's probably a little further up. We got a little deep in the weeds there. Uh, me and big co picked him up in a couple FFPCs. Um, just disregarded uh irv smith kind of forgotten about he's on ir i don't know that he's on too many waiver wires but again kicker in a trade uh cheap trade target i, I like him uh kind of you know left for dead there and then uh one more at the end josh oliver we saw him come in for one game with the ravens light it up um and then he's he's a free agent going into next year It'll probably be nothing but if he's out there you got a space uh, stash them away uh, and see what can happen. Uh, like I said, appreciate you listening. Uh, we get, we're going to do some trade targets, some cheaper trade targets, and then some guys that maybe are uh, to buy before next year comes around and maybe they blow up a little bit. I think we're going to talk a little bit about that with uh, John Bauer from the Dynasty Theory here coming up next week. Uh, we'll have rookie mocks. Uh, we'll have rookie profiles. So all that, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel and five-star review, all that good stuff to help your boys out, keep this thing rolling. Um, and we will catch you next time, hopefully full tripod. Uh, and you've been listening to the FF Dynasties. Married to the game. Peace. Peace.